habitation modules, like those on the station, are 26 by 13 feet, high-grade aluminum, and were delivered by the space shuttle. But as the emerging fleet of new space vehicles only have a fraction of the shuttle's capacity, engineers are developing a mind-boggling solution expandable modules. What you see is a full-scale mock-up of the Bigelow expandable TVD module. The main advantage of an expandable module is to provide a permanent habitation system, but could be launched at a fraction of its final volume. Right now, this module is on the International Space Station. Packed for launch, this module measures just eight feet in diameter. But once inflated, its internal habitable volume expands to an impressive 550 cubic feet. Composed of two metal bulkheads and multiple layers of fabric, including the same Kevlar-like material used in bulletproof vests, this expandable module withstands both internal air pressure and the extremes of space. When you put air in there, the Kevlar-like structural restraint is taking the loads that resists the action to burst. In April 2016, the Bigelow Expandable Activity Module begins its two-year trial. After docking, air from inside the station inflates the module. Once it reaches full length, eight tanks inside the module open and fill it to the appropriate air pressure. The expanding process was very interesting to see. It actually sounded like popcorn going off as slowly the air pressure expanded the module, breaking the small straps that were keeping it compacted. Astronauts will monitor Beam's performance with a view to colonizing the galaxy. Expandables can really revolutionize deep space habitats. Kevlar or Kevlar-like restraint materials, they actually offer higher strength than aluminum on an equal-to-equal -equal weight basis. So because of that, the structural integrity of these expandable modules are extremely good. <laughs>